this is an imperial cinnabar like uh, uh, chado, or how, how do you say? <laughs> so, um, and uh, it's uh, it's basically used to dispose of waste. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, the uh, a British colonialist used to call it a spittoon, which is not accurate, of course, but uh, for example, during the tea ceremony, you have a, a waste uh, of tea, you can put it in there, and other things. Uh, this was uh, for imperial use, and uh, again, and uh, there's a very nice uh, image available of the study, the personal study room of the Emperor Qianlong um, uh, in the Forbidden City, and we see the same uh, chado uh, there, and uh, it's very, very nicely carved with uh, lots of details, but the one thing that uh, separates it from, from everything, uh, from all other cinnabar vessels that are around in the 18th century is this distinct rouille color uh, combined with this beautifully gilt um, bronze finial. Uh, it looks a little bit like a stupa, but it's actually a lotus bud. And we also see it's covered in black lacquer inside, and it comes in absolutely amazing uh, condition.